again, everybody. It's Todd Strooch, horror nerd, here at Scares the Care Charity Weekend 8 in Williamsburg, Virginia. We are having a blast here today. It's the second day of the convention. Very busy. You can hear the background noise. We are about to get comfortable with legendary character actor, Mr. Stephen Williams. Stephen, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I have been better. But right now, I'm on the right side of the earth. I'm moving under my own power. I'm good to go. <laughs> That's it. Are you having a good time here? I'm having a real good time here. What do you think about the uh, with about the convention so far? Cause so far, it's a small venue, but the people are absolutely terrific. The sponsors are terrific, and I'm just, I'm just having fun, man. This is not. I don't know if people call this work or not. <laughs> you know, this, and the people and the fans that I'm meeting, the fans are absolutely fabulous. You know, they never cease to surprise me. Who comes out? Why they come out? I had somebody come in and present. Me me with a picture from a movie called Dr. Detroit. Oh, yes. You remember oh, Dr. I, I Detroit? Sure it probably do. was out before you I even sure born. sure do. You know? <laughs> and he presents me with this picture to, to autograph, and he says, I love stuff like that. <laughs> stuff that's long been forgotten by me, and bingo, it pops up, you know? And a lot of it, I, I get a little bit upset because a lot of it, I, I'm a baby. <laughs> I look like a baby, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, I I've got lie. I've got no. I, I got a lot of white here, man. I, I think about it all the time. <laughs> So listen, you have been, uh, I, I sometimes I don't even know where to start when I talk to people, but you've had so many roles, um, It, The X-Files. Do you have a personal favorite? Let me tell you, there is, uh, it's such a hard question to answer always because That's there, why I like is something, yeah, <laughs> there is something about each project that's special. I mean, Blues Brothers was special because it was, I think it was my first, might have been my second movie. But you know, I, and I had I knew John and Jim the Belushi's uh, even before I shot the movie. I lived two blocks from Second City oh, okay. in Chicago, sure, yeah. so we used to drink yeah. in the same bar. So, but just to do a film with those guys, to get to meet James Brown and Aretha Franklin and you know Carrie Fisher and I, and and the, the celebrities that would come to visit set. There were so many celebrities in the movie, like Ali. Muhammad Ali used to show up just about every week wow. to visit somebody. <laughs> so all of that was special. That movie also brought me to Hollywood. I did a TV show called L.A. Heat uh, for two seasons, foreign first run, but it was like lethal weapon for television. So me and my co-star, Wolf Larson, we got to be two action heroes. That was a lot of fun for two macho guys, you know. I took my first four-story dive off of, off of a roof. Wow. Shit like that I would do. Um, Jump Street, of course, was so socially relevant. Uh, I love doing that and playing Captain Fuller. Supernatural had its own, you know, me and Bobby, you know, playing Rufus. So each one of them has something about it that was special, you know? So I can say they're all my favorites. Short that's version. A great, that's a great answer. I like it. I like it. And the check's clear. The check's cleared on every last one of them. So. There you go, right? <laughs> Um, it, so, but in that same vein, do you have, I always like to ask this question because the answer is always so different. Do you have a particular, uh, from any project, a particular uh, memory, something memorable that happened on set or a, a funny anecdote or story that you could share? Not, you know, not really. I'm, I'm so even the, the stories that I could share. I won't, because they're tragic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. I mean, I was in the movie, Twilight Zone, the movie. Oh, okay. And you know what happened there. Sure. You know, so. Sure. But everything else, I mean, every day I go to work, it's like not work. You know, if I really would sit down and, and write down the answers to that question, I'd have to think. Because there was always something funny going on. There was always something exciting going on. And I was always having fun. Always having fun. And I love playing bad guys. I mean, you know, there's a show on now called The Shy. I don't know if you've seen The Shy. I have not. I but admit. it's called The Shy. It's Lena Waite's show. Okay. I did the first season. I had a ball. I mean, they wrote such a great bad guy. And I love playing bad guys. Villains are always more always fun and more, more fun. interesting. Yeah, always more fun. <laughs> That's um, for sure. But for the most part, you know, it's, I don't know. 
know, and I was never a part of it. They tell me that the boys on Supernatural were great practical jokers. But being a recurring character, I was never there long enough, you know, and extended enough time to be a part or be the, the butt of any of their practical jokes. But, you know, I heard they were great. When we first started 21 Jump Street, Johnny and Peter were absolute clowns. You know, they were playing tricks on on everybody all the damn time. <laughs> Some of them a little risque, <laughs> you know. Uh, but we've had, you know, it's just been a joy. Generally, my introduction to this industry, which was like a godsend, whoever you believe in, fate dropped it in my lap. You know, I never attempted to be an actor, wanted to be an actor, tried to be an actor. It just got dropped in my lap. And, and God gave me the talent to handle what was dropped in my lap. And, and I'm off and running. You know? That is a great attitude, man. It really is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, just fun stuff. Uh, what are you working on now? Any new projects I'm you got actually, coming actually... I just finished um, a show called Waco the Aftermath, the David okay. Koresh stuff. They did a little mini series on that that I just finished. When I go home, as a matter of fact, from this weekend on Tuesday, I start back doing All Rise, oh, the TV sure. show All Rise. Sure. I'm doing a recurring character on All Rise. Um, I'm also, what else am I doing? I'm doing a, re a recurring character in Snowfall, the TV series. I've got about four shows, I don't even remember what they are now that I do recurring characters in. And right now, All Rise is the, is the main one that's been, that's been calling me back. Um, yeah, but that's about it. And, and, and The Shy, the stuff from The Shy is coming out because we just shot the season. So that'll be out, the, the Waco Aftermath, the All Rise stuff. Fantastic, busy is I've good. Been, yeah, busy is good, I've been blessed. Great. I've been blessed, so. And I get to do stuff like this on the weekends. <laughs> How can it get better? Get better right? <laughs> well, my friend, it was great to spend a few minutes with you. Do you have any final messages for the fans out there about Scares That Care? Um, you guys care. Just take that, that group of words or that one word, care. Find something to care about and give it your best. And, and you know, it's really easy. We, we live in a world of turmoil right now. We are we do. turning upside down. People take a look in the mirror and just figure out how easy it is to just all get along. <laughs> it's real simple. Treat everybody the way you want to be treated. Wise words, everybody. Steven, thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. Thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure getting to talk to you. It really My. was. I'm just a fan at heart oh. who gets to do some cool stuff. Well, <laughs> thank you. And I this appreciate is part it. of it. And you are, and folks, you should see the camera person. See, I get to, I get to look at the camera person. <laughs> it's his daughter. <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> thank you. She has been a great help to me all weekend, and uh, she's doing a great job. So, Stephen Williams, everybody. Here at Scares and Care Charity Weekend in Williamsburg. And we're going to be here until tomorrow. So maybe if you're close enough, get on down here. There we go. <laughs> Stephen Williams, everybody. This is Todd Sturridge, the Horror Nerd, signing off. We will see all of you in the next interview.